I'm ready. Oh, this is so so. And thank you. Thank you. Yes. So the hardest thing for me during these times of dealing with the BSL and the whole appearance about owning a pit bull is priding myself on how beautiful my two girls are. Walking out on the streets, making sure they're eating the right foods, getting all of their exercise. And now all of that's taken away. I can't take them out on runs, I can't take them out on walks without covering their beautiful big block heads and big smiling faces with that aggressive, angry looking bundle. So from the apartment in Surrey, uh, we lived there for two months, uh, walking dogs as we usually do, and this is a dog friendly building as there's dog signs everywhere, they have blue bags at the front door. Uh, the security guard, long story short, stopped me one day and asked if this one right here was a pit bull. Well, she's a pit bull, and because we've seen two or three other dogs in there that are pit bulls, and I'm not ashamed of what I own, as I know some people are scared to say that they own a pit bull due to this specific fact of water making this video, I didn't deny it. I said it, and he told us that we couldn't live there anymore, and I didn't understand why, and because of BSL laws, that's why we ended up being evicted from our apartment. And I said, you know, our landlord had no issues with it, anything like that, he's fine with the dogs, but unfortunately due to the strata bylaws, we weren't allowed to live there anymore. So as of December 31st, which is Happy New Year, we got evicted from our place and telling him to be somewhere living right now. Well, 
uh, just the past week or so. Uh, so that was in January that we moved, and it is July now. Uh, so it's been six months. Six months? Six months. Yeah, six months we've been at our new place. We've never had an issue. We always bring the dogs to the dog park, which is about a block away. And uh, so we go to the tennis court, where it's enclosed, and there's no one around. Yeah. Still, someone decided to complain and say, your dog's without a muzzle. Everything was good up until last Sunday when the BC SPCA showed up at our front doorstep to issue us a warning regarding Lexi and her big vlog head, a warning that she needs to be wearing a muzzle and to be leashed at all times outside of our doorstep. Whether it's to go for a quick pee or if we're going out on an afternoon walk. And now she has to wear a muzzle anytime she goes outside, whether it's just for a quick pee or for the morning run or the afternoon run. If we're running, we can run with her. So she has to keep her muzzle and she has to be by her side the whole time. Now, so essentially, they're telling us that our dog has to stay indoors and not get the exercise as these dogs need. Uh, so I was quite upset and I asked the agent if he would pay for our treadmill. If you keep a human in a box, they're going to start to go crazy. So now put that in dog terms. You keep a dog inside all the time and they don't get the exercise that they're needing, they're going to start to turn aggressive. And that's exactly what these dogs are deemed as already, but they're not. So here you are, it's quite ironic that you're taking this breed that isn't and now you're putting these bands on them and these restrictions so now you want them to become that way so now that when they are that way now you can actually say all oh, of these laws work and then you're going to end up euthanizing them. Now look at Toronto for example. There's pretty much no bully breed existent in Toronto, Ontario, but yet, if you look at the statistics, the bites have gone up. A new stat that we learned on Sunday in the Lower Mainland from the BCSPCA agent who came to our house on Sunday informed us that the, the shepherd breed as a whole has more bites in the Lower Mainland than any of the pit bull and pit bull terriers, which are banned under the VSL laws in Burma. We're not here to say muzzles are a bad thing, because muzzles used in a correct time can and will be very safe towards humans and towards other dogs. Whether the dog is injured and needs a muzzle on to protect the human who's trying to fix the dog or help the dog in an emergency situation, it's great that all dogs can and should be muzzle trained. The second aspect of it is for aggressive dogs who do have the tendency to attack other dogs or bite or are fearful in large group situations, i.e. the dog park, should and can wear a muzzle. All I'm saying people is educate yourself on this breed because realistically they are one of the lowest temperaments. They are, as you see, just hanging out and love to cuddle. Um, now I'm not saying go out there and run up to everybody's dog and be like, oh my god, I want to see your dog. No, still follow the rules or hey, can I pet your dog first? Because sometimes usually that's what ends up happening with these attacks is some people come up behind the dogs out of nowhere or approach it. It's like, if you're human, you're not just going to walk up to someone's baby and be like, oh my god, it's a cute baby, let me hold it. It's like, no, you, like, there's a bubble. There's a bubble. And, you know, these dogs have these bubbles too, and all dogs do. I mean, essentially, if you just go up to them and start touching them, they're not familiar with you. Obviously, they're going to get a little bit scared. Um, and that's where sometimes people think that these bigger dogs are aggressive because they tense up when someone they don't know touches them. So please, educate yourself on these breeds. If you see me and my dog, don't cross the street because you're scared. I'd actually appreciate it if you walked up to us and said, Hey, do you mind? Or you know what? I don't care. You don't need to touch her. But you know what I would appreciate is if you just stood in front of me and actually looked at her and saw like, Oh, okay. She's not bad. She's just sitting there. Yeah, that's what they do. They get, they get mean, vicious. Or no, Mickey. No, Mickey. No, Mickey. 
Hi. <laughs> I'm Brandy. I'm Tyler. And this is Lexi. This is Princess Snow. And we're making this video to fight against BSL. <laughs> 